out pretty late. Um, I was 24 mm -hmm. when I came out. She's a only, baby. <laughs> I was <laughs> She's yeah, tender. Not a baby, but <laughs> yeah. Um, and we were at a party and I kind of outed her. Yeah, she kind of outed me. Um, <laughs> but I think if she wouldn't have outed me, I wouldn't have officially like told my parents. Um, I technically told my mom and then she told my dad because I was scared. I was still scared to say, Mom, I'm gay. I love women. Me. I don't just like them. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was just me it was a hard thing to do, even as a grown adult. Um, I know a lot of the girls are, they came out really young and I applaud them because at that age, I didn't even know... I mean, I knew I was gay at a really young age, but I just wasn't ready to fully accept everything that comes with it. The stares, um, the judgment, the rejection. Um, I've been very blessed. You know, my mom was very supportive. I told her I would leave. If, if she didn't accept me, I would leave. And luckily, my aunt, one of my favorite aunts was there. Our favorite aunt. Yeah. <laughs> she was there and she said, she's like, if she, if she ever kicks you out, you have a place at my house. And that really touched me. Because you, you think, at whatever age you come out, you think that... You're ready. Mm -hmm. That it's bad. Being gay is bad, but it's not. It's really not. It's just who we are, you know? Um, and luckily I had a really good experience, uh, except for her outing me. <laughs> but my mom was accepting. My dad, when, when my mom told him, because I was scared, um, he goes, I was just waiting for her to tell me. So it's not like it was something that was hidden, because I mean, I didn't dress like a girl. <laughs> so. <laughs> sure didn't. You know, it just. It was hard. It's a hard thing. No matter what age you are, 12, 21, 24, it doesn't matter. Um, it's a hard thing to do. And I applaud every single person that does it. I do. It takes guts. Um, and in a typical Mexican family, you think, oh, que va a decir la gente? You know, you think, oh my God, you know, I'm, I'm the eldest. Um, from my siblings, um, my cousins. So I was somebody that my little cousins looked up to. And at that time, I felt that they wouldn't look up to me because I was gay. They, it didn't bother them. I told my sister and my brother way before my parents. Um, so they knew some of my girlfriends that I would bring around and they were completely fine with it. Um, you know, the support that I had from them was, was tremendous. Um, it's just scary telling your parents, you know, because you never know. They could say, get out of my house. Um, or they could accept you. I knew I was gay since I was in elementary school. But you try to do what society thinks is normal. And please your parents. Yes. And please your parents. You try, but... I just, I'm happy the way that I am. Anyways, my story, a um, little bit different than hers. Um, I guess it started back when I was younger, um, liking girls, and I never realized why um, till I think I was in high school where I realized um, when I first kissed my girlfriend and I was like, holy shit, this is where I belong. This just feels natural. This feels right. I did in, you know, various boyfriends. Um, <laughs> Your brother already told us that. <laughs> Anyways, I've been dating guys, making, trying to feel normal. Um, and it just, it never did. I never felt right till I met her. Um, we dated for quite a long time. And then I guess when we broke up, um, I started dating guys. And, but it just, again, it didn't feel right. 
um, because they did find out that I was with her and they were so upset. My mom cried and cried and cried and I broke her heart and my dad was like, that's not normal, that's not right, that's just, it's not right. And I'm like, well, in my head it makes sense. It is right, that's the way I feel. And we hid for many, many years. I mean, but again, dating guys in between to make my parents, you know, believe that I had a straight life, that I was back on the right path with men. And it it wasn't the case. It, it was really hard. Um, I got into some abusive relationships. That was hard. Um, sorry. That was the hardest thing um, that I had to go through. But I think when I finally got through it, um, it made me realize that. Um, but anyways, it, it was really hard. Um, and when I finally got through, um, got through that, um, I think it's when I realized that I needed to come out and I needed to accept one, I needed to accept myself. And that was the hardest thing because I still felt like I was living a double life just to please my parents and everybody around me, everyone, you know, I was involved in the church and people looked up to me and I worked in daycares and schools. And I was afraid of people looking at me and being like, ew, well, she's a lesbian or, you know, blaming my parents, que males, malos padres son because they raised a lesbian. I didn't ever want my parents to feel ashamed about me. And I think that was the reason that I went through these relationships and stuck through them for a while. Like, you know, why? There is no reason to ever be in an abusive relationship. I decided to finally come up to my mom is when I had met you, Duh. whatever. Um, <laughs> and was, I think what made me come out, give me the strength to, to finally tell my mom, hey, like, look, she called me one day and she's like, I am, she was in Mexico and she said, I hear that you don't have a boyfriend. It's been four years. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Um, she's like, okay, so where are they? I was like, I don't have one. Um, when she finally returned and she asked me again, she's like, so you, it's been four and a half years and you still don't have a boyfriend? I said, no, I don't. Um, and I think at that moment it's when I finally realized Either I tell her now, or I'm never gonna tell her. And I said, mom, um, she's like, I bet you're back with, with your partner, huh? I was like, actually, we lived together for a long time. Um, and I met somebody else and um, whatever. <laughs> and I said, I need you to know that yes, I am gay and it feels right to me. And I know I live in your home. And if you want me to leave, I will leave. You will always be my mom, but I will leave and because I need to be happy. I'm not happy with myself. Um, and I just wanted to be free. And at the moment when I told her, it felt so liberating. And it, it was the best moment of my life because I could finally tell them the truth and I'm not going to go see a guy. I'm not going to date these guys and I'm going to go and see my girlfriend. Like, And I was still afraid of what people were going to say, but I realized that it didn't matter because they don't pay my bills. They don't feed me and they do nothing for me. So whoever was going to accept me was going to accept me for me. We have to be honest and real with ourselves and and just be okay with loving ourselves the way we are. Uh, brothers were very supportive. They knew all along. Um, and It's always easier to tell your siblings because, yeah. I mean, they're like your best friends. So you can tell your siblings anything. It's It was very easy for me to tell my brother because he was my best friend. <laughs> um, he is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, and I guess. <laughs> and my sister was a little harder because... I just didn't want her to look at me differently. Um, I think that's that's what it's all about. Trying to get accepted for who you really are. You know, being gay, you get stared at. Um, walking down the street together, you know, like we get stared at. Um, when we went to the zoo with the girls, like 
we got, I, I tuned it out, but I know Akira and, and Leslie did mention, like, hey, did you guys see those stairs? Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I just, I simply ignore it because. We learned how to. Yeah. So. There's just no reason to let. These, Feed into their stuff. Yeah. No yeah. reason to. But to all the young kids out there that they have not come out yet, it's okay. I mean, it, it does not matter what age you come out. Mm -hmm. As long as you're happy. If you're happy and content with not coming out, then mm -hmm. that's fine. But remember that it is so liberating and so much lifted off of your shoulders mm -hmm. when you do come out. And there is no need, please, there is no need to harm yourself. There is no need to hate yourself. There is no need for all that. What's up, lesbian fam? Happy Pride! Happy Pride, you Ooh, guys. shake them ta, -ta. Uh, It's also Father's Day today. Um, I actually got to <laughs> hang out today uh, with my dad. Spend a little time with him. He's a little out of commission right now, but you know he's like my best friend, so hanging out with, with my pops on Father's Day is always a tradition for us, usually, um, on this date. And... Uh, I don't celebrate Father's Day. I don't even call my dad. That's sad. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But, um, so normally we don't celebrate, I think people get the misconception that we, we celebrate Father's Day for us. Just because I'm more masculine doesn't mean I, I portray the role as a father in this relationship. Nor do I want to. Um, I'm, I'm a mom. The kids refer to me as a mom. She's mommy. Uh, so we don't, we don't take take that away from fathers at all because I have the utmost respect for my father and my brother and all the fathers that are in my life that I've known the dads so um no they're yeah they're their involved in their kids. great dads yeah so no just to answer anybody's question I I do not celebrate Father's Day for myself no we don't. nor in the future will the kids celebrate Father's Day for me um, I'm sure they'll have a lot of questions when that time comes but for now we focus on Mother's Day, and that's good enough. Yep. So, happy Pride! Happy um, Pride! We're going to bless you guys with a story about our coming out. So I came out when I was like 19, 20 years old, and my family was not okay with it. My little sister, she was, but um, for some reason, I don't even know what the reason is. You know, it was like hell of years ago, and she just wasn't okay with it out of nowhere. And I didn't have my family. My mom is very religious and she would always, always come into my room and quote, um, what is it? Jesus or Bible. Yeah, Bible quotes. Bible quotes. Bible yeah. quotes. And no, I, for years, I was harassed by family members, you know, leaving nasty messages like, I hope on judgment day I'm right there to see God judge you because I'm gonna laugh and I remember times that I was at work hearing voicemails like from my, fa my family members and there was one time where like I couldn't take it and I don't know if I was hormonal or what but I just couldn't take it and I broke down and her parents um, I called her and her parents came to my job and picked me up because I was in no, con I think you had dropped oh, me off. Wow, you remember, I remember that? that. Yeah, um, yeah, they I picked me that. up and I was just hysterical. Like she couldn't console me or anything. Like I went through some shit with my family. And to this day, like, on the, oh God, I'm about to cry. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> shut up. Shut up, babe. So when I on my birthday when I turned 28, <laughs> oh God, babe, <laughs> come here. Um, sorry guys. God, it's like opening. And no, and I know. Yeah, I knew this story would be like this. This is a difficult <laughs> subject, and it's uh, sorry. it's extremely okay. personal, you know. So for my birthday when I turned 28, I was at work and. My mom had surprised me and came to my job and took me out to lunch. And that's when she was like, you know what? 
you're my daughter I love you and if you want to be with the woman then I accept it and I was hella young when I came I was like 19 20 years old and when I didn't have their support <laughs> it was hard I rebelled I remember my mom was like let's have a when I turned 21 let's have a, <laughs> let's have a you know a dinner you can invite some friends and sure enough I was like, all right, you know, and I was so pissed off and I was so like, I was just so pissed off and I invited all my lesbian friends and gay friends <laughs> over to the house. Talk about <laughs> and I, I was, and nobody in my family drinks in front of my mom. Like, it's like, you don't do that in front of my mom at all. You have to like hide it and everything. And I didn't give a fuck. I was drinking in front of my mom. I was drinking in front of everyone. I just didn't give a fuck. You know, when I didn't come out, I was the kids aren't here, guys. That's why oh, yeah. she has the mouth of a sailor right now. Yeah, and all these they're with they're with their out. grandpa, and I just didn't care. At a certain point, like I was suicidal, and when I think about it, it's like opening up the wound. I know. Yeah. What age did you come out of? I think I was like nineteen or twenty. But before, like, I mean, even after coming out, like, I was just not having the support of your family. It can affect you in a really bad way. And I was so depressed. Even before I came out, like, I, I had two boyfriends, you know, trying to live the, the normal life. And the first boyfriend, you know, he was possessive and like overbearing and I was just like Ugh, whatever and then the second one actually treated me really well but I wasn't happy that's not what I wanted and yeah I came out Where are you going? oh thanks babe I say for my birthday my mom came in at my job and she was like let's squash everything and I've tried and I think I still have like a resentment I think you do. Yeah. I think deep down inside. Well, I just, obviously, I, you know, I don't, I'm not a crier. I don't cry, and I hold things in, and I'm just. She's become a lot more sensitive since we've had the kids <laughs> yeah. too, because every she cries for a lot of things now. But I think this is with kids or not. This is just a wound. That's, it's just you know once you open it, it's it's hard to talk about. It's one of those things in life where. You know, you don't want to relive that moment ever. You know, it's it's extremely hard. And even when I met her, when I started dating her, her mom was still, like, her mom still didn't really accept her. You know, I would come... Well, she didn't accept me at all. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would come over, you know, because I love this girl. I knew, I knew from the start I was going to marry this woman. And I, I would come... I so arrogant. Yeah. I would come over, and her mom would, like, give me looks you know I would come to family parties and as soon as I arrived her mom would leave you know her family would leave you know they were they wouldn't talk to me and I was just extremely nice I was extremely nice to them I just killed them with kindness all the time you know I was raised you know to always be like that and so um it was difficult you know but now for me I love her mother her mother to me is like my second mom now you know but it wasn't always like that it took us a long time you know to get here and now i'm extremely blessed to have that woman and her siblings you know three-fourths of them in my life you know uh, to me they mean a lot to me and i know they mean a lot to her as much as sometimes she thinks she doesn't need you know anybody but me and the kids and all that i know deep down she needs her family mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but um so as for me, I, I came out, you know, I came out at like 15, 14 or 15. I was, um, I've, I've, I've had gay encounters since I was like maybe 11 or 12. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I came out at a very young age and it was tough. Um, I was, you know, uh, uh, not to be cocky or anything, but I was extremely, extremely talented at sports. And so it affected me a lot because when I came out, my parents kicked me out of the house. So I ended up living on and off with different relatives. Like when the first time they kicked me out, I lived with my, my dad's mom for like two days. 
Then I lived with my with my aunt in Placerville, and if any of you guys know where Placerville is, oh my God, talk about a shell shock for a city <laughs> kid. And then I moved with my grandma, my mom's mom, and God bless her soul, I adore my grandma, cause she took me in, and um, she, you know, I guess you could say she raised me, she helped me a lot, you she, know? I remember that when we would go out, and she would have your little needle ready to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, my grandma, I think everyone, in my early life know something about my grandma because she was there for me a lot and uh, I had a very very hard time with my parents um, you know my father now he's like my best friend so just feeling like I let him down was like the worst feeling ever to me personally um, you know and it took I was very rebellious like Betsy too you know but I was more like oh you know you're not you're gonna kick me out you're, you're gonna talk about me? You're gonna treat me like trash? Okay, well, let me bring this girl over and knock on her in front of you. How do you like them apples? I was like that. I was a... Which girl is it? <laughs> <laughs> let me Wink, think. wink. <laughs> but um, I was just like that, you know. Um, it affected me a lot with my schooling. Um, I got, my parents ended up pulling me out of high school and switching me high schools. And I, I literally went from like the city to the suburbs in like a week. And it was the worst experience in my life. Like complete shell shock, like culture shock. I had never experienced something like that. So I stopped playing sports, uh, which was dumb of me now that I think about it. You know, I could have I could have went extremely far in that. But um, I stopped doing a lot of things. I rebelled. I started dabbling into certain drugs and it was extremely hard, you know, and, and I think by the time I was 21, I, 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 I always did mislead my parents and I, to, I would tell them myself, it's a phase, you know, I'm gonna eventually would be with a guy. And I worked at like Macy's, um, so I would always dress girly, you know, I would dress with my high heels and highlights in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, I would I would dress girly. And so my parents were a little confused and I would mislead them, too. I would tell them, hey, you know, one day I'm going to be with a guy right now. It's just not the time for me. And I think I'd, I told them that to make them happy. But deep down inside, you know, deep down inside, I knew what I was. But at the same time, now that I think about it, my mom always tells me, you misled us. You misled me. You know, you play with my emotions. And I did, you know, but I was young and I didn't know. My mom would take all that to heart, you know, and she did, and, and that's my wrongdoing, and I accept that, you know. But now I have the best relationship with my parents. They've been a catalyst in our relationship. Um, you know, they're my kids are with them right now, mm -hmm. and yeah, they're honestly, amazing. They're, they're amazing. amazing with they're amazing. the boys. Like, just the fact that you know I carried them. That's not even a factor. Those are their current kids, and they love them like it's 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 amazing to watch. Your parents are amazing. Yeah, they're pretty dope. So now I have the best relationship with them, and coming out was not easy. It was not easy for me. A uh, quick little story about when I did come out that I want to backtrack on. When I came out. I was in a committed relationship with this girl and we were together for like two years. I think it was maybe a little longer than two years. We we're pretty serious, you know, in, <laughs> in high school you think that every person you meet you're serious with and you think that, you know, when you break up or when you argue it's the end of the world, you know, that over dramatic stuff. But this girl, we were very serious. Everyone in high school knew we were together and when I came out, the first thing my parents did was totally. called her parents so they called her parents to tell them that she was gay and she was gay with me and so not only did i lose my parents that day i lost my girlfriend and what does her parents do to punish her <laughs> they sent her to an all-girls school private school what luck <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's our coming out story. Um, and if you're struggling to come out, you know, you need to be happy. Like, yeah, you don't live for your parents. No, you're not going to marry your parents. No, you need to be happy. It might be hard, but it gets so much better, especially when you find that person that 
you're meant to be with, it's, it becomes easier. Yeah. So we've been there where we're, we're scared to come out, where, you know, we were depressed, suicidal, you know, whatever you can think of. And just be happy for yourself. Come out if you need to come out. It gets better. And with that, happy pride! Absolutely, you guys. It gets better. It gets easier. And like I said before, you're living for you. You're not living to please anybody around you. You're living for you. And when you figure that out, you're going to be the happiest person ever. Mm -hmm. Love yourself before you can love somebody else. That's RuPaul, baby. Yes. If you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? Can, can I get, I get it? it? Amen. Amen. Bye, y'all.